Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Freshworks with Salesforce. First of all, what we have to do, we have to create ourselves an account at my fresh uh, or at uh, freshworks.com, sorry. And as you can see, this is a dashboard where you can do all the stuff with, uh, with uh, Freshworks uh, except integrations. If you want to go for integrations, you have to go to freshworks.com and go uh, to the top corner and hover over platform. On the top right corner of flat platform, there's a marketplace. It doesn't actually matter if you're English or, or US. Go platform, marketplace, and CRM, sales and marketing is the option that we are going for, the fourth from the top. Uh, we want to go straight down to the fr uh, Freshworks CRM option and we want to pick uh, from one of those and we want to look for Salesforce. If we can't find the app uh, we want to integrate straight away, we uh, can use Zapier.com. At Zapier.com we also have to create an account. Uh, once we do that we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a Zap. Now we can name our Zap uh, like uh, Freshworks to Salesforce. We hit enter and we want to start with a trigger event. The tri trigger event uh, will start at uh, Freshworks. Uh, Freshworks CRM is the option we have to choose. And the trigger event will be one of those three, new contact, new account, or new deal. Let's go with the first one, but it's completely up to you, whatever works. Now we have to log in with the account that we created a couple of minutes ago. Continue. And uh, we hit the filter name. Uh, let's go with my contacts. Continue. And that's uh, where you can test your trigger. Uh, we now can go to the second action. The second action will uh, actually involve Salesforce. So we're gonna start with the Salesforce, choose an event, uh, create record, continue. And the last thing you have to do is sign in to Salesforce. There's uh, actually a couple of events you can pick from, so it doesn't have to be always the first one. You can really use um, even lead to the campaign and still hit that continue button and uh, you just need to sign in and you are just a few clicks away from finishing your integration. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.